wanna say to you Ya Allah Ya Allah Light of the heavens and the earth You are the last, you are the first Ya Allah I always called, you always heard The Lord of each and every word
دا توانم در کعبه مخصوص را پیمایی کنم تا که باشد با ایمان و وشگان زندگانی کنم دا توانم در کعبه مخصوص را پیمایی کنم در این ایام شدیف رسم افغانی کنم حتفال را بایدی دادن رسم قدیمی کنم با وطن داران خود مهربانی کنم بیاید 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 دیدی کنم رسم افغانی کنم رسم قدیمی کنم مهربانی کنم and safety during these unprecedented times. Amen. Eid Mubarak, everyone. Eid Mubarak. 
may this Eid bring happiness, harmony, peace for the entire humanity. Amen. Mubarak to all Muslims. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak to all Ismaili around the world. Stay safe and stay healthy. Yari Mada. Eid Mubarak to everyone across the world celebrating Eid. Um, I hope your day is filled with love, happiness, peace. Joy and prosperity. Amen. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak to everyone. I got my mandy. I'm gonna eat samosa and pizza. Yali madat. Eid Mubarak to everybody. Eid Mubarak everyone. Eid Mubarak everyone. May you have a big smile on your face. Filled with lots and lots of love. Wishing the gold Jamaat, Eid Mubarak, have a blessed Eid.
Ya alimadat. Welcome, bienvenue, and of course, Eid Mubarak. Thank you for joining us for another Friday Night Reflections. My name is Ziana Basaya, and I'd like to extend a special welcome to all of our Jamaati members, multi-faith family members, and everyone tuning in from across the country and around the world. During tonight's show, we will be celebrating Eid al-Fitr, and not only was Eid celebrated this past week, but it was also the third anniversary of Molana Hazri Mam's second Diamond Jubilee visit to Canada. We're a little spoiled over here, aren't we? Tonight, we will be celebrating Eid, the festival of Eid, where we take all the food we saved from fasting for the past month and try to consume it all in one sitting. First up tonight, we will be hearing Eid greetings from President Amirali Qasim Laka and the presidents of each of the six regions. You will then get to enjoy watching me cook karai chicken and naan for the first time. Yeah, or at least attempt to. Taught to me by the amazing Chef Ali. And you're more than welcome to try this at home with us. In fact, we encourage it because the more you focus on your cooking, the less you'll focus on mine. Don't worry though, I just put new batteries in my smoke detector and my mom said she will sit on the side with a fire extinguisher and some popcorn because it's gonna be a good one. After that, we will be putting our best and brightest minds to the test with the Ultimate Mind Challenge. Students from across the country will compete to see who has the ultimate mind for Eid trivia. And of course, no Eid celebration would be complete without music and some light rust to work off that karai chicken. So tonight we will conclude with a music party hosted by the Jawani Band. Before we officially start the show, I want to remind you that if you're not able to watch all of it in one sitting, if you need to take a break because it's prayer time in your region or it's dinner time, you can always pause the program and continue later or view it on demand at iicanada.org FNR. So settle in, get your popcorn and your chair and your snacks because you don't have to wait until sunset anymore. Now let's welcome our presidents. On behalf of all the Jamaati leadership, we wish you Eid Mubarak. We hope that your homes are filled with smiles and laughter, your hearts are filled with joy, and that your burdens are lightened. Au nom de tous les dirigeants de Jamaat du Canada, nous vous souhaitons Eid Mubarak. Nous prions que votre demeure soit toujours remplie de gaieté et d'abondance, que la joie émane de votre cœur et que toutes vos difficultés s'envolent. Eid is about appreciating our blessings and giving shukrana. After the year we've all been through together and how we have come out of this year, it's time to say thank you. Thank you for all we have in this wonderful community that's been able to keep us united and strong together. And to each and every one of you for the role you've played, for the efforts you've put in to keep us together to keep us strong, to keep us a family. To all our incredible volunteers, healthcare professionals, and essential service workers who ensure that our country continues to function and that our Jamaat remains safe and supported, we owe you a tremendous amount of gratitude. May the barakah of your service be returned to you and your families a thousand times over. Eid Mubarak. While we will not be able to greet each one of you individually and offer Mubaraki physically as we would have liked, and though we may not be able to see you and give that hug, please know that we are thinking of you and that we offer our support and extend our love to each and every one of you. And we wish you much happiness, joy, and Barakah on this special day. We truly miss Jamaat Kana and seeing one another in person. We miss dancing together to the Dandia Ras and of course the taste of the delicious Akni, Biryani and Montar that we are always spoiled with. But we are so grateful that the Jamaat has come together in a different way, in the spirit of kindness and compassion and brotherhood. And this has been most heartwarming as it reinforces the undying bond that connects us through our beloved Imam as one Jamaat. On this Eid, 
we are reminded that though we cannot gather physically, the bonds that connect us across the country and around the world are in many ways stronger than ever. Today, we remember the Jamaats around the world. We pray for the collective health, well-being and safety of all those, wherever they may be, who are suffering or facing calamity and for their mushkila son. Dear members of Jamaat, Eid Mubarak to all of you. This has been a challenging year, but with the vaccination program underway, we have reason for hope and optimism. Inshallah, we look forward to connecting soon in person in our Jamaat Khanas. The past year has shown how blessed we are for Hazrat Imam's continual guidance, the strength of our community, and our values of faith. The spirit of generosity and goodwill has been extraordinary. We offer our shukrana for these blessings and prayers for barakat, happiness, and success. Mubarak is again to your families and Qudafis. Thank you, Presidents, for those warm, warm greetings. Now, are you ready to learn how to cook a new dish? Well, I am, and I am so lucky to have Chef Ali Jadavji be my guide. Chef Jadavji was a finalist on Master Chef Canada, so he can handle the heat, and he is now a private chef in Calgary. This evening, we will be preparing karai chicken and naan, and if you'd like to try this dish, the recipe is available at iicanada.org. Okay, wish me luck. I can do this. I can do this. Hello and welcome back. This is my kitchen and we are welcoming Chef Ali. Welcome Chef Ali. Thank you so much for taking the time to help me. I'm sure you will have lots of fun and I'm sure I will too. So let's get started. Awesome. You know, uh, thanks for having me today. And uh, first and foremost, Eid Mubarak. Uh, super excited to be joining you, Ziana, and uh, helping you cook this Eid meal of karai chicken and skillet naan. So uh, why don't we go ahead and uh, get started with the skillet naan and forming the dough, just because we have to let the dough rest. So uh, Ziana, I'm going to help uh, coach you through this. I've actually gone ahead and formed my dough already, so all of my attention is going to be on causing your success for the naan. Okay, so uh, let's get started. How about we go ahead and you're gonna take your two cups of flour and you're gonna mix all of the dry ingredients together. So we got our two cups of flour, we have our one teaspoon of baking soda and uh, I'll go, I'll let you go ahead and mix all of that together and I'll keep on talking here. This naan that we're making is actually a no yeast naan. And so uh, you'll notice that we don't have any dry active yeast um, or actually a liquid yeast that we're using in this. And it still turns out wonderful. It's really easy to bring together. So your two cups of flour, your uh, one teaspoon of baking soda, your two teaspoons of sugar, you got your salt in there, and then uh, we're gonna mix that all together. And then after you're done that, um, we're gonna go ahead and actually mix our wet ingredients together. Okay. All right, I think it's mixed. Okay, awesome. Um, so in, in another bowl, what we'll do is we'll get half a cup of water to start. Yeah, to that half cup of uh, water, uh, you can add half a cup of yogurt. Now it's the chef's choice on this. You can choose uh, whatever you have in the fridge. If you wanted to use a lower fat yogurt, you can go ahead. It won't make any difference in this recipe. This is not sponsored, but we have naan and pay. Okay, and then to that, we're gonna add one tablespoon of oil. Um, again, it's a chef's choice what you wanna use here. The only one that I would try to avoid is olive oil. So uh, the mixture that we're making will probably make uh, five to six naans of a decent size. If you wanted to roll them out uh, when we get to that stage a bit smaller, then uh, of course they'll make a little bit more. Okay, so what do I do with my wet ingredients? 
So with your wet ingredients, you're gonna mix those all together just until they're combined. And after that, we're gonna add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. All right, right now? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Awesome. All righty. So uh, now what you wanna start doing is really bringing in and mixing that all together. And what you're trying to achieve here, Ziana, is uh, what we call a shaggy mess. <laughs> so you want this to all come together and um, really, you know, it, it, it's gonna take a little bit of work to bring all together, but as soon as you keep on stirring it, a lot of the gluten's gonna start to develop and it's gonna to start to become elastic in nature. And uh, that's what we're hoping for. So, you know, the thing to mention here is as you're bringing the dough together, uh, you may need to add a little more flour or you may need to add a little more water. But the only way you'll be able to tell is if you keep on playing around with it. Should I be mixing this with my hands? Yeah, you know, that really is the best way here. Um, that really allows you to know what's needed. A little more wet, a little more dry, or if that's exactly right. I feel like I'm in like a desi soap opera cooking in like my <laughs> fancy clothes. <laughs> Keep on working with it. It is gonna be sticky at first. And as you keep on playing with it, it should become less and less sticky and should start to uh, form into, into a dough-like substance. I think I'm getting there. It honestly looks yeah. pretty doughy. It's just still really sticky, but it's... Yeah, so awesome. If you do need to add a little more flour, uh, and if you don't think that it's coming together, I would do it now. Um, and as soon as it's come together into a ball-like uh, substance, you can either wrap it in saran wrap and put aside, or you can leave it uh, in a bowl and uh, put aside. And the reason that I say that we need to put it aside for a minimum of 30 minutes is that's when the gluten actually develops and that's what gives dough elasticity. And so that resting time is very important. If you can allow it to rest longer, great. So I'm gonna turn around and show you uh, what my dough looks like. So you can see here how smooth it's become and it's elastic in nature. And this is what you're hoping for. I've let this rest for about 35 minutes and this is what it's become. I let it rest at room temperature. That's really important. Okay, I'm back and I think I have it in good enough that we can move on finally to the next step. Okay, awesome. So um, while we're resting the dough of the naan, why don't we go ahead and start making our karai chicken? So I'm just gonna bring you in for a closer look of all the, all the ingredients that I can uh, explain what we're gonna be using today. So first and foremost, of course, we have the uh, chicken. So I've just gotten the whole chicken, I've broken it down. Um, Bone-in chicken is the traditional way to make karai chicken. Um, you know, it, it absorbs a lot of the masala that we're going to be making. I just made uh, a few slits in it as well, uh, Ziana, just so number one, it cooks a little faster. And uh, number two, it actually absorbs all of that goodness that we're going to be cooking. I got some tomatoes here that I'm going to be using, uh, just cut up and diced. And we have our spices here. We have a teaspoon of peppercorns, two teaspoons of coriander seeds, and two teaspoons of cumin seeds. And you know, if you don't have whole um, spices here, you can absolutely use uh, powdered spices. We have some pureed ginger and garlic. 
We have our powdered spices, bay leaf, a little bit of garam masala, red chili powder or Kashmiri spice, turmeric, salt, and bay leaves. We have onions that I've chopped up, roughly diced. Uh, we have jalapenos that have been de-seeded and demembraned. An interesting fact here is that often people think the heat lies in the seeds. The heat actually lies in the membrane that the seeds are attached to. So if you want to remove your heat, actually remove that white membrane. And of course, we have some cooking oil. I've opted for grapeseed oil here. So, um, Ziana, are you ready to start? Yeah, I'm ready. Awesome. So why don't we go ahead and um, start our stove and we're gonna heat up the oil. How much oil is that? Uh, so you can use any type of oil. Um, you know, if you wanna have a, a little or healthier option, you can use um, grapeseed or sunflower. You can use canola oil, but again, uh, anything besides olive oil. And two tablespoons? Yeah, so you, you want to be doing two to three tablespoons of oil here. So uh, going ahead, adding our oil in. And uh, Ziana, you can stop me at any time, or if you have any questions, just let me know. Okay, I've got my oil in and it's heating up, so I'm ready to move on. Awesome. So what we want to be doing uh, as soon as the oil is heated is we want to be browning our chicken. And so that would be the number one step. So that's going to be, we're going to go ahead and as soon as our oil is hot, and uh, what I do usually to test if the oil is hot is I get a little bit uh, of my garlic or ginger and see if it starts sizzling. And mine has gone ahead and started sizzling here. So I'm going to go ahead and add in all of my chicken. Okay, let's do it. And so uh, as soon as your chicken's in, you want to start mixing it until it starts changing color. How high should the heat be on the stove? Great question. The heat should be on high medium. And I say high medium, so more high than medium. Now, as soon as most of the pink has gone from our chicken, we're going to go ahead and add the onions at this point. And we want to continue cooking it until now the onions get a little bit of color. And you can see here that some of my chicken has started to get uh, nice and brown. The reason that I like to add the onions to my karai chicken is that I think it gives it a little more depth of flavor. Um, you know, that caramelization uh, of the onions just definitely adds tons of flavor to this dish. So you want to continue mixing it uh, until the onions get a little bit of color on them. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and add all of my whole spices. Now, if you're using powdered spices, I would hold off still. So I went ahead and added my uh, peppercorns, my cumin powder, uh, sorry, my whole cumin and my coriander seeds. And I can smell that right away. You know, as soon as I added that, and you wanna cook that for one to two minutes if you're using whole spices until they roll stock a little bit. And now that I can smell the peppercorn, smell the coriander seeds, 
I'm going to go ahead uh, to the next step. And you should be pretty close there, I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm gonna add my cumin seeds and my peppercorn right now. I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic and ginger. And you wanna continually cook this until that raw smell of the garlic and ginger is gone. So that's approximately probably two minutes. Okay, so in my house, we use garlic ginger paste that is pre-made. Um, nice. so does that change the cooking time at all? No, it doesn't. Um, I uh, use freshly uh, grated ginger and garlic, so it, it was very similar to yours. So uh, you went ahead and uh, you've added your garlic and ginger? Yes, I have. Awesome. To that, we're going to add all of our powdered spices now. So we got our salt, our garam masala, our Kashmiri or red pit, um, pepper, uh, turmeric, and bay leaf. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. Dump it all in? Dump it all in. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is add in my chopped jalapenos. So now that um, we've added that, what we wanna go ahead and do is add the tomatoes. Now, uh, here for one whole chicken, I'm gonna be using three cups of raw tomatoes. And I'm gonna go ahead and add that right into the mixture. Now, this is an important step because the liquid content of your tomatoes is what actually cooks the chicken through. So as soon as that's been added, because there's so much moisture in tomatoes, we want to just give it a quick little mix and then cover it and reduce the heat to a medium low. All right, we're back. Our cry chicken is still finishing off. If Chef Ali, you want to show them your cry chicken and I'll show them mine. Sure, so um, mine's been cooking for about uh, 30 minutes now. Oh yeah, it's totally reduced. Um, the tomatoes and all that moisture has cooked the chicken down beautifully. Um, oh, I, I, let me tell you Ziana, I can't wait to eat mine. Mine is not reduced yet. It's sizzling pretty loud if you can probably hear it. Um, but my mom came and she checked it and it should be it should be there soon And uh, you know, it's a good point if your uh, Moisture is not going way of the uh, karai chicken like you have Ziana is to turn up the heat and uh, Remove the lid and a lot of that liquid will actually evaporate away. You want that uh, liquid to evaporate away just so that uh, all of those flavors get really concentrated. Okay. While we wait for that, can we get started on the naan? Okay, so I'm gonna get, uh, my dough here is ready to go. I got some extra flour. Uh, I'm just gonna give the countertop a little wipe down um, so it's nice and clean. I'm gonna do it right on my countertop. I'm gonna, you know, dust the countertop. If you're uh, rolling it out on a certain um, surface, just make sure that your um, surface is lightly floured. Define lightly. I might have floured it a bit too much, but... That's okay. That's not going to hurt anything. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the more flour, or I mean to say, if you have less flour, you don't want your non sticking to the surface of uh, what you're rolling it out on. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually turn on my cast iron skillet and you want that probably on a medium while we're rolling this out. So I'm gonna get my dough here 
and I'm going to cut it into four. Just cut it with a knife? Yep, just cut it with a knife. And I'm going to uh, put a little bit of flour on each of the pieces there. And uh, then what I'm going to do is roll one of these out. So if you have a rolling pin, uh, if not, like uh, a good rolling device is um, like a Perrier bottle or something like that. If you don't have a handy rolling pin, I'm going to just press it down a little bit, get both sides floured. And I'm going to start rolling so that, of course, when we eat nuns, typically, they're a little oblong in nature. And if you feel like any of the dough is sticking, just lightly flour it again. And you can see I have a, a nice shape here. You know, try not to play with it too much because at this point it's nice and elastic-y and the more you play with it now, the tougher it'll get. And I'm gonna go ahead and I have some chopped garlic that I'm gonna embed right into my naan. And then I'm gonna give it another couple of rolls so you can see that it's nicely in the surface right there. And now that my skillet is pretty hot, so you can see here, I'm cooking my naan, it hasn't stuck to the, um, to the uh, skillet. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, while that's cooking, I'm gonna roll out another naan, because who can have just one naan, of course. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little flip. You can see there how wonderful that color is on my naan. Um, you know, at this point, uh, I don't like to play with it too much, uh, but I do only wanna do one flip if possible. Now, um, something that I like uh, to put onto my naan after it's done is a little bit of ghee, which is just clarified butter. It, um, it's really just butter that all of the scum and the impurities has been removed from. And I like to uh, coat a little bit on as soon as it's done. And, um, and then uh, put a little bit of chopped cilantro on it. Well, um, the karai chicken is totally done on my end, uh, Ziana, and I hope it smells as good on your end as it does on mine. It does. I mean, it's probably not as good as yours because you are a professional chef, but I think it's, it's a good second out of two, but that's okay, I'll take it. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, guys, we did it. Do you want to show? Do you want to show them on the count of three? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Look at that! Awesome. We could start a restaurant. We could start start in a smiley restaurant. Let's do it. Oh, I'm so excited to eat this. Thank you so much, Chef Ali, for coming and showing all the Jamaat and me your cooking skills and for making me a chef ish. <laughs> well, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. I hope you had a fun time cooking today and Eid Mubarak once again. Eid Mubarak. Actually, I'm going to wait until the music party to enjoy this because right now it is time to enjoy some of our best and brightest go head to head in the ultimate mind challenge. I'll see you guys there. Okay, everyone, welcome to the Ultimate Mind Challenge, where post-secondary students from each region will face off against their peers. Let's meet the contestants. 
Starting off in the West, we have Raheem Mita from BC. Raheem, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? All right. Uh, hi. Honored to be here representing the West Coast, the best coast. Uh, I'm at UBC studying business, and uh, my Kane that I go to here in BC is Lionsgate Jamaica. Awesome. Thank you, Raheem. Moving on to Edmonton, we have Azar Teja. Azar, why don't you share something about yourself? So my name is Azar Teja. I'm the post-sec Mookie side in Edmonton. I just graduated, so big congratulations here, please, and thank you. And I'm really excited to be here as well. Great to have you. All right, moving on to the prairies, we have Zenith Kadri. Hi, guys. Um, I am representing Mount Royal University, and my kane is Westminster Mod Kana, so woohoo. All right, now to the East Coast, representing Ontario, we have Ali Arish Somani. Hey guys, pleasure to be here. Uh, I'm representing Ryerson University uh, from Ontario today. Uh, and yeah, pleasure to be here. Representing Ottawa, we have Rohana Ibrahim. Hi everyone, my name is Rohana Ibrahim. I am representing um, OISA. I go to the University of Ottawa uh, and my Jamaat Kana is Willadal Kane in Toronto. Great, and finally, representing Quebec and the Maritimes, we have Arisha Labani. Hi, my name is Arisha Labani. I'm representing Montreal ISA. I go to Concordia University, uh, and my Jamaat Kana is University Jamaat Kana. Awesome. Welcome, contestants. It is so great to have you. So the rules of the game are simple. One team or one region will select a question, and the first person to buzz in will have the opportunity to answer it, very similar to Jeopardy. Answer correctly and you gain points for your team and you can control the board. But if you answer incorrectly, you will lose the same number of points and somebody else can buzz in and answer and take the points. All right, so starting off first, we have Azar. So you can pick first. Thanks, Yana. We're gonna start off a little small right now. We're gonna go with Ismaili 101 for 100 points, please. Okay, Ismaili 101 for 100. The country where the seat of Imamat is located is? Oh, okay, Rahana. Is it Switzerland? It is not Switzerland. Uh. All right. Second person to buzz, we had Ali. So Ali, go ahead. It's Lisbon. Yes, it is asking for the country though, but that is correct. Can you country tell for uh, Lisbon is, oh my God, why am I? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh my God. It's Portugal. Portugal. Good job. <laughs> Sorry, I just mind. <laughs> awesome. Okay, Ali, you can pick the next question. All right, perfect. Okay, um, we'll keep it slow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go with Eid 100. Eid for 100. This festival translates to the festival of breaking of the fast. Uh, I think it was Rahim. Uh, iftar. What is iftar? Incorrect, unfortunately. Oh. And up next we had Arisha. So Arisha, you want to go ahead and guess? Idol Fitr. That is correct. <laughs> Idol Fitr. All right, Arisha, you can pick next. AKDN um, 100. Okay. This educational institution is the only AKDN institution that does not include the letters AK in its acronym. The tough one. Okay, let's see. Oh, awesome, Arisha. Um, I, I don't know, I'm not sure, but UCA or? Which stands for? University of Central Asia. That is correct. Great job. All right, you can pick again. Uh, Arts and Culture 200. Arts and Culture 200. A dish with nuts and raisins commonly prepared on Navros in the Afghan tradition. Oh, Azar buzzed early. Sev? Pardon? What is Sev? No, that is not correct. Uh, Zenith, you're next. Is it half Mela? Yes, it is. Good job, Zenith. Uh, it is your turn to pick a question. Um, I'm going to go with Eve for 200. Eve for 200. 
This event honors the willingness of Hazrat Ibrahim to sacrifice his son Ismail as an act of obedience to God's command. I think it was Zenith again. Um, I'm going to guess Eid al -Adha. Yes, you are correct. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with arts and culture for 100. All right. The city where the Jubilee Arts Festival was held in July 2018. Oh, I think Ali buzz first. Lisbon? Yes, good job, Ali. Very good answer. All right, Ali, you're up next. All right, so I'll go with uh, Smiley 101, 200. Okay. The number of Ismaili centers in the world. Rahana. Um, there's seven. So six. Close. There's six. There's six. There's six. There's six. Fine. Fine. I'll give it to you. Okay. Shoot me out. Okay. Um, I will go Eid 300. On which Eid is it common to hold events to reflect on the Prophet's life and teachings? Ali. Eid al -Fitr? That is incorrect. Zenith? Eid al -Adha. Incorrect. Oh. Rahana? There's, there's only two Eids, though, isn't there? Oh, there's a third one. I've forgotten can the I, name. Can I, can I go again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah, I give Ali my turn. <laughs> okay, Ali, take it away. Eid al -Gadir? No, that's for... No, oh. actually not. Mm. Okay. Arisha? I'm not too sure, actually. Azar? Not too sure. Her is Milad and Nabi. So either Milad oh. and Nabi. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, now at least we're learning something. Yes, That's just yes. Practice run, right? Yeah, yeah. This is just practice. Exactly. Okay, Azar, you can pick the next question. Um, Friday Night Reflections for 100. Ooh, all right. FNR is translated each week into this language for the deaf and hard of hearing. Ali. Deaf and hard, uh, ESL, American yes. Sign Language. Yes. Perfect. Wow. After answering so much, I'm still at zero. Wow. <laughs> um, I I'll go with <laughs> uh, I'll go with AKDN two hundred. That's so funny. Okay. AKDN for two hundred. This person is the chancellor of the Aga Khan University. <laughs> Ali again. Uh, His Highness Prince Karim Aga Khan. Yes. Hey, you're on the board, Ali. Look at that. Wow, nice. <laughs> Proud of you. <laughs> okay, Ali, you can pick again. All right. Um, I'll go with uh, Smiley 101, 300. The city where the Jubilee Games were held in 2016. Oh, Raheem? Is it Nairobi? No, it is not Nairobi. Um, Azar? Dubai? Yes, good job. It is Dubai. I'll go with Friday Night Reflections for 200. All righty. feel like you've been watching all the Friday Night Reflections because you... Of course I have. 100%. Okay. Who wouldn't? That is true. That is true. Okay. This Calgary pundit has hosted FNR four times. Hazar. What is his worship, Nahi Nenshi? Incorrect. His worship. That's <laughs> his with the official titles, guys. Yeah. You have to go with them. <laughs> oh, putting some respect on his name. I see you. Exactly. I see you, Azar. Maybe I'll go into politics. I need yeah, to make sure knows? I'm ready for it. Got to be networking from now, you know? 100%. <laughs> Any other guesses? Who Edmonton, you should know this. It's Calgary. You're close enough. <laughs> That's really oh, come on, I Azar. thought I knew it. I'm struggling. <laughs> Who else? Zena. <laughs> could you say that again? Is it Zane Velji? Yes, it is. No, I said uh, Zane first. Though. I, I just say it. say it in your oh. head because we didn't hear it. Fair. <laughs> this is fair. <laughs> this is fair. Okay, Zena, go ahead and pick the next question. Oh, um, I'm gonna go with Eid for four hundred. Eid for four hundred. Yeah, making me break even. All right. The festival of Eid al-Fitr falls on the first day of this month of the Muslim calendar. 
Zenith. Is it the lunar calendar? I don't know what it's called. No, it's in Arabic. <laughs> Rahana, we has another option to guess. Is it the month of Ramadan? No, it's the name of the month. So Ali, do you have an answer? Uh, Rabi Lovell? No. Arisha? It's, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I think it's Shawal. Yeah. It's oh, Shawal. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I should have gone that one too. It's okay. <laughs> we got this. We got this. Okay, Arisha, you're up. Um, arts and culture for 300. This modern day musical instrument brought by the Moors to Spain and evolved into two different types of instruments was originally known by its Arabic name of kitar. Uh, Azar. Is it the guitar? Yes, it is. What's up? Yo, Azar, killing it! Is it actually the guitar? Oh my god. Wow. That's too easy. I thought it was too easy to be that. I knew that. Same, I knew same, I know same. my history, you know. I, I saw it saying. I'm so risk averse when you're in the negatives. I'm not yeah, sure. facts, dude. Yeah. Yo, BC, you're at negative 400. At least I'm beating you. That's all that matters, yo. Hey, I'm not calling anyone out. I'm focusing. I'm running my own race. <laughs> Mirror times are at 600. Uh, is Smiley 101 for 400? Last week marked the global launch of this initiative of the Ismaili community to improve the quality of the life of the communities in which it lives. Zenith. I'm gonna say partnership walk. It is not partnership walk, Raheem. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just I don't know. <laughs> Okay, it was Ismaili Civic. Why don't we do a 500? I'm gonna to try to get into the positive Ooh. now. So, uh, <laughs> go big or go big. For the biscuit. Oh, wow. yeah. Ismaili 101 for 500. Okay. The year in which the Ismaili constitution was signed by Molana Hazri Mom. <laughs> we should all know this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. We have Raheem who buzzed in. Raheem? Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna go for this is a total guess. Uh, 19 Jesus. I'll go 1988. Complete guess. Complete guess. So close. So close. We are out of time. It was 1986. Ooh. Ooh. Oh wow. Two years. Yes, that's nice. gonna put me so bad. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, negative 900. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, Raheem, you're going to pick another question. Okay, I just need two 1,000s to get back. So let's go AKDN 500. <laughs> okay. Okay. The 2019 Aga Khan Award for Architecture prize-giving ceremony was held in this city. Oh, no, I meant give us a hint. for the oh. Yeah, a hint. No. Was it in Canada? No. Okay. I'm pretty sure well, I didn't buzz. Texas. I didn't buzz. I don't get negative. I didn't buzz. But I'm not gonna <laughs> buzz. Yeah, I'm not gonna buzz either. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not, not buzzing. If I don't buzz, I don't get negative. Yo, oh shit, give me my points back. That's cheating. Okay. I didn't buzz. Yeah. Our time is up. The answer was in Kazan, Russia. Okay, okay never okay. mind. Yeah, zero percent. Get that. <laughs> nobody, literally buzz. nobody. I didn't buzz though. Her, we'll let you choose the next question. Yo, this is not fair. Okay. <laughs> Okay, fine. To the club, you're getting close. You're getting close. You know what? As long as I beat BC, my heart is clean. That's all I <laughs> This is my goal. Yo, and Edmonton That's needs to come goal. first. That's it. That's my life goal. And Edmonton can come first because, you know, we got an alliance. It's fine. fine. We're, we're, we're wow. chill. I got you, Azar. I'll give the answers. Not that I know them. But okay, then I have an alliance with Quebec. Because they yeah, have, they're, they're, they're the most What do you mean, with yo? This. Quebec and Ottawa are like neighbors. We're besties. You in could Quebec never home. take Quebec from me. BC, <laughs> try again, homie. <laughs> yo, we're the, you know, French speakers. Je parle un peu de français. Oui, oui. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just a bit of playful banter. I will go for Eid 500. The month of Ramadan is the blank number month of the Muslim calendar. Oh, okay, Raheem. Third. No, Zenith. Six. That hurts a lot. Did you say sixth? I said sixth. 
That is also incorrect. I'm so sorry, both of I'm you. I'm not even going to guess anymore. <laughs> even, <laughs> I thought it was six, two. I decided to not even answer. The month of Ramadan is in the ninth. Ninth. Month. Oh, I knew it was ninth. I didn't oh. say it. Um, I'm going to go with arts and culture for 400. The name of the popular Diamond Jubilee song by Zahid Bamani and artists from across Canada. That was me, I think. Oh, I think that was Azar. Uh, I think Azar buzzed first. Oh, well, look. Zahid. No, I no, I buzzed from the last one. Oh, okay. Oh, first. then it was definitely Zenith. It was Zenith. Hey, okay, I'm going with Jubilee Mubarak. No, Rahana. Oh. I was in this song, by the way. Yo, congrats! Do you remember the name of it? Is it is, it? is it? Is it that? Is it that one? Our beloved. So I go to Spotify top charts while I find oh. it. Can I, can I say it? Like I don't know. I don't know if that's the name. Well, it was Rohana's turn to answer. Rohana, do you have? Okay. An answer? I give. I give my turn to Ali. This is what I've been doing. So kind of you, Ali. Thank you. Our beloved Imam. No. What was it? Was it that one? Okay. Oh, I think people are putting themselves out on a limb for this. I got. One. A, I got another guess. Can I guess again? Okay, go. I am Olana. Yes, I am Olana. Yo, go Zenith! Good job, Zenith. Okay, you get to pick the next question. Oh, okay. Um, AKDN for 300. Okay. The National Zoo of Mali in Bamako was revitalized by this AKDN agency. <laughs> you revitalized the zoo? That's impressive. <laughs> Super <laughs> impressive. Did not know that. Good on y'all. Arisha. I'll just guess. Um, AKTC. Which stands for? Our Contrast for Culture. That's a really good guess. I would have guessed that too. <laughs> um, arts and Culture for 500. Okay. A famous Muslim poet, philosopher, and traveler who lived in the 11th century. Two of his most famous works are the Diwan and the Safar Nama. You all know this person. Azar. After you said that, I'm going to go with Rumi. No. <sighs> Dude, I know. That's what. That's why I was you like, You threw oh. me off. Yeah, Zena definitely that. threw you off, yo. Okay, Zenith. Zenith. No. No. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go... Oh no, I know this is wrong. Go, go, um, go. Between two. I don't know which one to go for, and I know they're both wrong. Just say um, I'm going to go with Nasser or Kusro, but I don't think that's right. That was oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> nice. Um, Friday Night Reflections for 300. God. We're getting it. Friday Night Reflections ends the show each week with this segment. Oh my, I thought you guys said you watched this. That's what I was thinking, Zenith. <laughs> a Q&A? No. A <laughs> Arts and culture, like there's a performance and a song usually. The, the phrasing of that is not exactly, but I will give it to you because the context is right. It is musical expressions, which is basically what you said. Oh, I'll take it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yo, break even, Azar, break even. Whoa. <laughs> All day. Okay, Azar. I see with an uh, Friday Night Reflections 500. Go big, right? Member for volunteers Mo Jessa hosted this game show on FNR. I don't know if I should take a risk. Oh my god. <laughs> you gotta should risk. I take the risk? Just take it. No one else knows. It can't go worse. Uh, <laughs> I, could be, I could be lower than BC. <laughs> it can't get worse. <laughs> go, go, go. You gotta risk it for the non kitai <laughs> For the non kitai <laughs> I'm just, I'm stuck between Jeopardy and Family Feud, and I don't know which one it is. Oh, I go with Family Feud. Okay, okay. Family Feud. Final answer. You're correct. Oh. Woo! Yes! Can I give a point to that? Yo, high five! I, that up. Nice. I think that's a family challenge. I, yeah, I that's a family yeah, challenge. Yeah, that's incorrect. That's it's, it was close enough. You know what? Ziana's looking really pretty today. That's all I have to say. <laughs> wow. Gorgeous. That color is for you, girl. Let's do AK. No, no. Let's let's do the <laughs> Friday Night Reflections for four hundred. This drink is a favorite accompaniment for regular host Zara Premji. 
Okay, I'm risking it. Oh, yes. It's got to be chai. What else do smileys drink? No, I'm pretty sure oh. it's bubble tea or something. I remember. Why would it be that simple? Why would it be that simple? That simple? So you know, but, but sometimes it is that simple. I don't know. <laughs> I yeah, risked like it. <laughs> okay, the answer was bone broth. Okay, um, I think there's only one question left. So is this like final jeopardy or like... Winner takes all? Yeah, because I, Let's you know, not do if that. you... Yeah, I have to use my second. <laughs> Arisha, can, Arisha can decide, right? She, she has but you know what? Country, if so you absolute all. value yeah. all of I, I, our I, I, values... I'm I winning. All or nothing. Take, yeah, just I'm, take I'm the done. absolute value. And I think yeah. that we can bet... I'll bet my negative 700. <laughs> I'll bet my negative 600. Absolute value, negative 700. Don't know if I have authority to make decisions, <laughs> but by popular demand, we'll do that. So everybody can wow. pick what they want to do. This is huge. Okay. Um, I'm not going to get this. Wait, do we just like <laughs> message you privately how much we want to wager? Yes, that's fine. And, and then is, I'm assuming the cap is 900 because that's how much Quebec and Maritimes has, which is like the most positive one. Yes. Okay. We will pr private message you. And you can values. all private message me the answer when, um, after ask oh. the question, and you'll have 10 seconds. And then yeah. ask you who and if anybody gets it right. Ready? Central Asia's largest telecom, Roshan, is an initiative of this AKDN agency. So you can send me your answers. And well, what if we don't know? I don't know if this is the right wording, though. Yeah. I okay. So the answers are in. And drum roll. Yeah, drum roll. Did anyone get it right? People who got it right. Azar. Oh, I knew it. Rahana. Yes. yes. Yo, Azar. Let's go. Ali. Ali was very close, so we're gonna give it to him. And yes, Ali. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay, Azar. No, nobody was easy. Yo, Azar, it, you say the acronym, I'll say the full thing. We got this. I don't, know, I don't know if the acronym was said it right, though. It's okay, I'll say the acronym, you say the full thing. Okay, sounds good. It was A-K-F-E-D. What is that? Oh, I thought it was Aga Khan Economic Development Fund. Uh, yeah, Aga, Aga Khan Fund for Economic Development. Fund for Economic oh, Development. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we have our final scores in, and BC wagered zero points, and they did not get it right, so they ended with minus 1,400. Edmonton wagered 700 points, and they ended with 700 points. Ontario wagered 900 points, and they ended with 700 points. Ottawa wagered 899 points, and they ended with 99 points. Prairies wagered 900 points and ended with minus 1,700. And Quebec wagered zero and ended up with 900 points. So our winners are Quebec, Ottawa. No, Quebec, Ontario. And Edmonton. Thank you for the help. So congratulations to all of you for participating because we would not have had this much entertainment without you guys. So thank you for that. I had lots of fun. I hope you had lots of fun. I learned a lot. I'm sure that you learned a lot. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you once again to all of the participants for a great, great, very entertaining game. We'll be ending with two very special treats. First, we celebrate our very own Ayana Manji, who plays the voice of Sadia on the Disney show Mira Royal Detective. In this episode, Ayana sings the Eid song as she celebrates the holiday with loved ones. Following that, we have a music party of traditional songs in Farsi and Gujarati to celebrate Eid, courtesy of the Jawani Band. We hope you'll keep this on as you eat your dinner or your jalebi, and if we can't tap our feet together in Jamathkana, we can still do it at home. Thank you once again for joining us this week. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Eid Mubarak and Yali Madat. When you see the crescent moon, Eid is finally here. The month of Ramadan is done, a special time of year. With Mandy on our hands, we dress up and give out sweets. Gifts and greetings all around for everyone we meet. Eid Mubarak. 
Eid Mubarak, let's enjoy the day and say Eid Mubarak, Eid Mubarak, time to celebrate Eid Mubarak, Eid Mubarak, share a feast with family and friends Think of others, enjoy and happiness Today we're grateful for what we have and everyone we love We find a way to give our thanks Or the best part, give a hug there are coins inside this envelope, a gift for kids to spend. Called Eevee, use it how you like, or share it with a friend. Eid Mubarak, Eid Mubarak, let's enjoy the day and say. Eid Mubarak, Eid Mubarak, time to celebrate. Eid Mubarak, Eid Mubarak, share a feast with family and friends. Think of others, enjoy and
Oh, lovely, lovely, oh, lovely, lovely. 